We're at the Western Australian Art Gallery and we're here for the 16th annual Tom Malone Prize. Tonight we're going to be looking at the 13 exhibitors on display and looking at who the finalist is in this amazing glass arts display. It was started 16 years ago now, it started by Liz, um, Liz Malone, Tom Malone's widow. Tom was a great collector of art and he particularly liked glass and they, they visited Venice a number of times. When he passed away very sadly and at quite a young age, Liz wanted to do something in his name and she looked at a number of options. Because of his love of glass and of art, she started the Tom Malone Prize. The criteria was really important, um, so it had to be Australian contemporary glass art, um, which doesn't mean you have to be Australian, but you have to be basically living and working here. Um, has to be contemporary, has to be cutting edge, has to show an, a uniqueness and a development of the artist as they move forward each year. So that's how it started with Liz backing it um, as benefactor for the first 15 years. She put an enormous amount of time and effort into it. The gallery supported her and it's developed. It's grown and it's developed and it's now the basis for the largest Australian contemporary glass art collection that we've got in the whole of Australia. And I would say it challenges possibly across the world. I'm here with Robert Cook. He's the curator for tonight's Tom Malone Prize. What are your thoughts of tonight's exhibition? Wow, I'm always very happy when it's finally open to the public. The, each exhibition we do is, you know, months in the making, so it's always a big relief. But uh, prior to that, it was actually really amazing. There's always this window that we have uh, of maybe a day or so when the show's set and the public yet, you know, aren't in the, in the show. And you can just appreciate it and realise that, yes, it came together. It looks really beautiful and you're the only one who's got to really see it. So um, in that regard, I'm, I'm both relieved but also very excited to see you know, how the works uh, operate in real space. You know, when we do the shortlist for the prize, we do it via, you know, digital slide. So uh, it's always great to see the scale, the physicality of the work. And uh, yeah, every piece kind of holds its own and does something very different with the space. So I'm kind of relieved and excited about the show working on a, on a physical level, I guess. Uh, was it hard work selecting or narrowing down from all the different uh, works that were coming in down to the finalists, the 13? Yeah, it's always like ridiculously hard. And we always swear each year 10 works only and it always expands outward because, you know, it's always like, no, this one has to get in. And so 13 is actually us being very hard on ourselves. You know, it could have quite happily expanded out to 20. Uh, yeah, it, it's tricky. It's like, you know, when we come together to do the shortlisting, it's, you know, it feels like losing favourite children or favourite pets. There's things you just don't want to let go of. And uh, I'm pleased that, you know, works we fought for made it uh, all the way here. It's a wonderful opportunity to showcase the, not only the collection of the Art Gallery of Western Australia that has been uh, put together in the past 20 years and it's one of the best in the country, but it's a way to celebrate the Tom Malone Prize, uh, which is now in its uh, 16th year uh, in a row and we know that it's going to continue for at least a few more years. Uh, and it's really a wonderful way to um, extract the best uh, uh, Australian contemporary glass artists uh, who apply and most of them apply uh, and so the finalists send their work here and the work is in the exhibition here. So we have a wonderful uh, selection of 13 finalists this year who are all in the cases or on the wall here and uh, of course there is only one winner eventually and it's an acquisitive prize so it can come into the collection but it's, it's really a, a great way to celebrate uh, glass art in Australia. Perfect. And what would you say to future um, people that want to be on the exhibition or get their entry in? Absolutely. No. Glass is a tough craft. You need really to be a, almost an alchemist. You need to have incredible skills with your hands, but with your lungs as well. And glass is so 
malleable, so flexible, you can use it in, uh, as hot work, you can use it as cold, blasted and cold cut, uh, but it's really blood, sweat and tears, really. And so I would encourage, obviously, every person who's interested uh, to give it a try. And uh, quite a few of them can become the next finalists and the next winners. I'm Best Hedros for Undercurrent.